The Elephant Nature Park, located in the hills of northern Thailand, allows visitors to interact with elephants that have been rescued from circuses, logging operations, and street begging. This unique operation is the inspiration and passion of Lek Chilert, whom I had the pleasure of meeting at the park. When she was just a young woman, Lek trekked into the jungle with missionaries, where she saw a bull elephant being beaten by its owner. She had always believed that no one could harm these huge, powerful animals. But this bull was screaming and angry because he was being forced to pull logs, and the ropes had made a deep cut on his chest. From that day forward, Lek couldn't get the elephant's screams out of her head, so she decided to try and help. She saved every penny until she could afford to return with medicine for the bull. Gradually, Hill Tribe residents and Mahouts began telling her about other elephants that had been abused and needed help. She was young and poor, but she washed dishes and waited tables, saving every penny to help the elephants, and dreaming of a day when she could have a rescue center of her own. I dream all the time I want to go and have the elephant in my backyard. That's, you know, when you're 16 years old, you're like all the teenage. You are thinking, one day you want to be a singer, one day you want to be a model, another day you want to go and be a doctor. And it's whatever, of course, uh, teenage, emotional. When I, see, I saw the elephant, that's it. I want to be the Mahout and have the elephant in my backyard. What's the difference between you and the elephant camps? You know, we, I, the elephant camp is the, they, they use elephant for, you know, entertain people. But for here, more like a, we have the people come to enjoy, but look at them how to be freedom and how to be, you know, not, not, uh, not used to exotic riding or elephant show. And I don't allow the Mahout here to, to use hook because I saw them <coughs> suffer enough. We have eight elephants uh, here blind from the slingshot and eye injury when they arrive. Blind from what? Sling, slingshot. Slingshot? Yeah. Lucky she got both eyes blind. Normally, Lucky let she rescue from circuit in Surin province, not east of Thailand. Lucky just been here last year. Huh? When she wa was working in the circuit, like hula hoop show, like that, both eyes blind from flat camera. Because a lot of people go visit every day, every day. Okay? Uh, she very cute elephant. Eh? She, She's gender, but she just uh, know it because she fancy, it. and then she's mom over there. So later we gonna fit Lucky. For in simple, Lucky she fancy, right? And then when you get fitting, and uh, you have to touch her trunk like this, and then because if you not touch her trunk, she can't see. She gonna sweep the trunk. She might hit you. Okay. <coughs> So gentle. <laughs> that is, when I want an elephant to follow me, I can use the food. They will, they will be very easy. They, they like the children, you know. Yeah. You speak nice to them. They love you. You, you know, if you give them food, they follow you everywhere. You don't, you don't need to go and use any hook or anything to pull. But they, they know you. I watched you walk out into the field today, and immediately every single elephant turned around and came towards you. You know, I uh, I work with every single elephant here, and I talk to them and I listen to them. Mostly is uh, if we are the human, if we, we work with the animal, the the the, the most important, not just to let them listen to us. We have to listen to them. Later, I was able to get up close with some of the elephants. I petted the trunk of one and stood between two behemoths, which I found just a tad bit intimidating. I cannot believe that we're standing so close to them, in between them. I even got to wash the elephants in the nearby river. But the indisputable highlight of the day was when Lek invited me to join her as she trekked through the fields with the hey. herd.
Unlike me, Lek is not the least bit intimidated by the elephants. She thinks of them as family. The most peaceful time is under the elephant. Yeah, that you is. don't have a fear that they will step on you or sit on you. I tell you, the elephant very be careful about. When I be under them, they think well, I am one of the herd. Huh. And they think I am one of the baby. Sometimes Diana asks me, this is elephant thing, she is your baby or she is your mom or I am mommy. If you could tell everybody one message about elephants, what would you like to say? If you could tell the whole world, what would you say? They have uh, more polite to each other, which is opposite of the human. The more they stay longer to, to each other, the more love each other, you know, and care to each other more. And this is something, you know, we, uh, we should learn from elephants. And this is one of the reasons I one of hundred reasons, you know, that I love elephants.